All right, let's take a look at the HBO headlines. New releases this weekend. Winnie the Pooh's in theaters everywhere. Great cast. Uh, Winnie the Pooh back on the big screen for the first time in a long, long time. John Cleese is one of the voices in the film. Jim Cummings, who's a name you may not know, but he does Winnie the Pooh. It's a remarkable recreation of that voice. Uh, Craig Ferguson also stars. And then there's a tiny little independent film called uh, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part uh, 2. Uh, now, this British, one might be hard British, to find, but British I've, heard, import. I've heard it's worth seeking out if you can try to find one of your local theaters that is uh, showing Harry Potter and Art the Deathly Hallows. Art House theaters uh, in major cities will be carrying this yeah. film. Uh, Daniel Radcliffe, of course, Ray Fiennes, Alan Rickman. If not mistaken, you went to see that film then. Uh, I weekend, did. I, you? I've seen it. it is, uh, it's great. It, it ends the whole thing very nicely and whatnot. It was sweet. I rolled a tear. Did you? Weird, but yeah, we've been invested a decade in those movies. And, you know, when you see the kids kind of grown up, and I, don't know, it was, I thought it was touching and shit. And, and of course, the most important mm -hmm. lesson of Ralph it, it, with all those movies is that uh, friendship and family and love are the greatest magic of all. Yeah. <laughs> That's what those movies are about. Yeah, it is. Yeah. 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 I'd rather have real magic. Like fucking magic from Satan and yeah, shit? Yeah, whatever. whatever. Whoever it comes from, I don't care. That would have been an amazing series of films if it was the exact same series, but every once in a while you saw him consulting with Lucifer. Yeah. And he was just like, what should we do to stop Voldemort? And Lucifer's like, feed me another baby soul. <laughs> and fucking Harry whips a baby to Lucifer and he's <laughs> chomping down like an apple and yeah. shit. And he's like, Voldemort, huh? <laughs> See, I can make up shit just like J.K. Rowling. <laughs> you should pick up. Apparently, she's totally. not interested in writing those she's books done, anymore. Right? She's I can done. take over from there. That's right. That chick. How fucking Harry Potter and the shit. Baby Eater. The new, <laughs> the new book. I'm looking forward to it. How amazing would that be to have uh, J.K. Rowling as a girlfriend and or wife? Just like that fucking talented and shit like that. Like, not only can she tell you stories in bed, yeah. but then she can go write them in the morning and make you billions of dollars, man. <laughs> be great. I want one of them, one of them workers. Harry Potter and the Unreliable Penis. Is that the story she read the, the next morning? Yes. <laughs> sometimes it's up, sometimes it's down. <laughs> there was no magic spell that could keep it hard. That's what she'd write. The wand chooses you is all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> There's a moment, dude, like, uh, finally, Alan Rickman, who's a phenomenal fucking actor, he's played Snape. If you Snape. like good acting. Yeah. <laughs> he plays Snape, and uh, Snape finally kind of gets... To Real? Take, he opens uh, up? He gets, like, he gets his storyline, kind of gets cleared up, and, and it's a really touching storyline. I hadn't read the books, and I particularly stayed away from the books on tape version of the last one because I just wanted to go watch the movie clean yeah. and whatnot. But oh, if, you, if you had the option to go to audible.com you probably would get the books. Well tape, done. Right? Yes, yeah. absolutely. And they've got them all. They've got 85,000 different titles you can choose from. Yeah, and Jim Dale, I'm not even fucking around. Jim Dale does the novel as the audiobook version, right? He does all the voices. It's yeah. incredible. He's like you. He could do a zillion different voices. Well, let's but not get crazy. You know, well, yeah. He's not quite me. To okay. be fair, to, and to be, and he's won like I think he won a Grammy for doing it. Yeah, so you're he right. Did. He's not like you. He's yeah, successful. But... How uh, dare you, sir? How dare you, sir? <laughs> Don't make me show my Doogie Hauser clip again because I will. <laughs> I'm acting my ass off in that locker room. <laughs> what are you thinking about, Ray? <laughs> I don't like you anymore. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Anyway, yeah, Jim man. Dale, you stayed away from the audiobooks because you wanted to see the movie. I went in clean. I had no idea about the uh, Snape uh, storyline, and it, it is, it's really fucking touching. And right. he has one line one, when he's, you know, I don't want to spoil anything, but that was, fu it fucking breaks you up. But I thought, just to be, I mean, to criti I'm not criticizing, this is how I would have cut it differently, and not by, like, putting a dick in it or something. <laughs> But he yeah, says right. that one line where he says, you have your mother's eyes, and then they explain it 10 minutes later. And for somebody who didn't know that, I would have flipped it so you get the explanation so that when he says it, you're like, ah, there wouldn't have been a dry eye in the house, you know? But I guess they went another way, the yeah. 92 million in one day way. So yeah. I, guess, I guess it worked out for him, but you know. Yeah. Snape would have said, try not to suck any dicks in the parking lot. <laughs> totally. Somebody would have got pooped on in the That's middle of right. a donkey show. Or... 
Donkeyus. <laughs> <laughs> Stink Pomacus. <laughs> <laughs>